All right, so uh, in this lesson, we are going to work on the read more uh, page. So we're going to work on this page. I'm going to put all the details we need in there. All right, so if we're going to uh, show uh, view for the post, so I'm going to delete uh, this here. And uh, we're going to start with adding a link. So we need a link to view all posts. So I'm just going to add post path. Okay, and refresh, and we should have um, all posts there. All right, so now we are going to start uh, with a paragraph. And in this paragraph, I'm going to echo post.title. So this time we're not truncating anything. So I'm going to put a new uh, break. And then here we have uh, post dot uh, time. So this is going to be when the post was created. So we have uh, created at. Uh, we're going to pass this into our time ago, uh, like that. All right. So uh, here we need to make sure we have posts, uh, posts like that. Uh, params would be the ID, which is always passed to the show method. Okay. So there we go. We have what day ago uh, when it was created. All right, so we have this done. So we now have uh, the content. So if we go back into our show view, so we could add another paragraph and simply just say post.content. So this gives us the content. Now let's save this and refresh the page. We have our content there. All right, so now uh, below the content, we have comments and we have the individual comments. So down here, again, um, we have a H3, we have comments, and then below this, we could have our, our P paragraph, our paragraph. And within, um, uh, before that, I'm going to wrap these paragraphs. Um, so let's say posts.comments, so we get all the comments for this post, dot each dot uh, with underscore index. So we want to loop through and we want to get uh, index um, along with it. So the first thing that's you that is the comments and the second is the index position starting from zero. And let's end our loop here. Okay, so we have our index there, we have our comments there. So let's go ahead and uh, print our comment dot message. So this will give us the actual message for this uh, post. So we have seeded our app with some comments. So we have one comment per post. So that's what we have there. So that represents this information. But we have here a counter. So we want to be able to just count uh, the number of posts being shown. So if I start here, we could um, make this bold just so it's visible. So we'll just print index. So index represents uh, the index of the of the array. So we have zero is the first number. Uh, so, uh, but we want the index to start from one. So that's why we have with index here. So in the, we could give it uh, a parameter one. So it will start counting from one instead of zero. Okay, so uh, now that we have that, we want to make it a double digit. Uh, to explain that a little bit more, I'm going to come here into our terminal and tap IRB, Interactive Ruby. And here we have, there's a method called uh, SprintF. So SprintF uh, looks a bit strange. It has a percentage sign. Uh, I can say 0 to D. So I'm saying uh, give us uh, 0 is the beginning and 2 digits. And they have percentage and 5. So basically this starts, it gives us zero if we have uh, two, uh, less than two digits, basically. So if I change this here to nine, it's still less than two digits, so we have zero nine. But if I change nine to 10, it just gives us 10, because now we've gone over um, one digit. So we can also delete uh, our brackets, we can actually delete everything and it still works. So up arrow and changes to eight and enter and it's zero eight, so it works. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to copy this 
and uh, we're going to create a new helper. Uh, exit, clear, and come into our Sublime. So I'm going to go into my application uh, helper um, outside of the admin so we can um, access this method from any view. So I'm going to define a new method and um, we'll call this double digits, double digit number, which accepts a number n. So paste what we have in there and change 8 to our n number. So now whenever we feed a number into this, it will generate a, a two digit number uh, for us. So that means that here we could say double digits and either wrap this with um, brackets or leave it with a space, it's still the same, it works. So now we have our double digits working. So let's um, confirm that. So now we have zero, 01. So it will increase to zero, 02 and up to 10 and so on. All right, so finally we have here uh, the name of the person who left the comment and the comment date. So I'm going to put a break and come over here. We have a bold we have comment dot visitor because visitor belongs to comments and then we'll get the full name of the visitor. All right, so we can also say, um, say commented when it was commented. So we can say time ago and we could feed in uh, post dot um, created at. All right, so um, I'm actually going to take this out of here and put it outside of our bold. So we have it over there. Okay, um, we are getting there. So I have my paragraphs are outside. So I'm guessing I had a, I forgot what I was doing at that point. So I'm going to cut this and paste this here and then return, select everything in here a tab key to indent and that's what we have okay so reset the page and we have um, our comments uh, and it is bold and we have the who's commented on there and the day was commented on so that's um, that's what we've done so far um, looking at the code it seems like we have uh, a few things bolded uh, that should not be. So here we have uh, one day ago is also in bold. So I've forgotten to close a bold somewhere. So looking on line 17, we have bold here, but the bold is not closed. So I can close the bold over here. Yeah. Uh, save this, refresh, and now it looks exactly as I planned. Okay, so we have uh, done this section. So we have uh, the form section to do. So, but we're going to leave that for the next for the next lesson. All right. So um, that's it for this lesson. I'm just going to put a horizontal rule here. That gives us a nice clear divide. So if I go into our specification, we've done this. We can show the content. So we've done this uh, list comments. So I'm just going to select and shade this off. And uh, show comments form, we're going to leave that for the next lesson. Okay, so that's what we've done in this lesson. Uh, we're gradually getting there, getting the work done. And I'll see you in the next lesson.